I will say that you probably will notice that what makes Vegas very different is the money. If you go into, it's very fast paced here compared to other places in the country. Mm -hmm. And it's the, probably the one place where you're going to see more people acting like they have money or overspending, living beyond their means. I mean, if you go to other cities, you don't see as many luxury cars. Sure. As you do right, here. right. You I mean, there's so many people that have houses and they have no furniture. Their mattress is on the That's ground. just the norm, huh? It, it, I think people, like, extend themselves more so in Las Vegas than they do in other parts of the country. And I think we're always trying to keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. you know, we're always trying to compete with somebody else. And there's so many people that overextend themselves. I mean, you know in this business. Oh, yeah. Especially in real estate. <laughs> You know, people are buying six figure cars right. that don't even own a house. Right. Yeah. Right. And it's like you're you're it's backwards. It's, yeah. It's so ass back. It, we talked about that. Yeah. When I I drove around Southern Highlands, my girlfriend lived in there for a minute. Uh -huh. And I was trying to find her house and these houses are, you know, those really tight, no yard, sixteen hundred square foot two stories. And I saw a Ferrari and a Urus in this dude's driveway. Yeah. I remember thinking, I'm like, that's Five hundred thousand dollars. I'm like more than that right. house. Like, right. The house is four thirty, and there's half a million dollars in cars in the driveway, yeah. and they're probably renting. Yeah, yeah. I saw right. Ferraris by renting. Yeah. yeah, that was wild. And that, yeah, that's the problem. Like you'll see people that have you know a fifty thousand dollar Rolex, but they're renting, they're leasing their car, but they're just over leveraging, over leveraging themselves to try to impress other people, and. I really appreciate people that work hard, mm -hmm. build themselves up, and that are that humble. earn it. Yeah. yeah, it's like when you compare Michael Jordan and LeBron James, the reason that people really look at Michael Jordan as the goat is because he let other people do the talking of how good he is. He mm. didn't go out there and say, mm -hmm. "I'm Ooh. the best, I'm the king, I'm this." Where LeBron, I feel a lot of people turn on him because he says, "I am the best basketball player of all time." So people are automatically looking at him like. Why do you have such an ego? Like, let other people define who you are. Mm -hmm. I think or let insecure. your work do the talking for you. I think it's a, it's, a, it's rooted in insecurity. Yeah. If he felt confident that he was the best basketball player of all time, then he would. Why? Why would he be? Why would why he, would he to charge care himself? what everyone's why, yeah. thinking? Yeah. He would go. I just know it. But he's insecure that he's not. So he has to reconfirm it to everybody around him. Mm -hmm. Just so everybody knows. Mm -hmm. Just, I'm the best. Yeah. Yeah. 